Welcome to 5G Hub. In this video, we will talk about 5G new radio uplink physical channels and signals. In last video, we discussed the downlink physical channels and signals. Today, we will talk about the uplink physical channels and signals. Regarding uplink channels and signals, we have three downlink channels and three physical signals. We have physical channels from physical random access channels, physical uplink control channels, and physical uplink shared channels. And regarding the physical signals, demediolation reference signal like downlink, face tracking reference signal like downlink and sounding reference signal like LTE. If we will need to talk about 5G new radio physical uplink channels in more details, we will see the operation for each channel. Here for example, physical random access channel used by user equipment to request connection setup as referred as random access uh, request from user equipment to G node B to access the network. And regarding the, the physical uplink control channels, it's used for uplink control information, which includes hard feedback acknowledge, indicating whether the downlink transmission was successful or not, and scheduling request, requesting time frequency resources from the network for uplink transmission and downlink channel state information for link adaptation. And also physical uplink shared channel for used for uh, uplink data transmission by user equipment. Here, if we are talking about the process for uplink data transmission, a user equipment first requests G not B for physical time frequency resources for data uh, awaiting transmission. This is termed as a scheduling request and is sent over the physical uplink uh, control channels. In response, G node B sends a scheduling grant over the physical downlink control channel, which gives a permission to the recommend to use certain time frequency resources for transmission following the scheduling grant, the user equipment schedules its data transmission over, over the physical uplink shared channel. G node B receives uh, uplink, uplink data and since HARC acknowledge indicating whether the uplink data transmission was successfully decoded or not. In this case of decoding failure, retransmission is scheduled. Regarding the physical uh, uplink signals, we have three physical signals, demediolation, phase tracking, and sound, uh, sounding reference signal. DMRS or demediation reference signal is used to estimate estimate the radio channel for demediation. Is user equipment specific can be be informed. Uh, it's uh, transmitted only when necessary. Both in downlink and uplink, its design take into account the early decoding requirement to support low latency application. If we are talking about uh, face tracking reference signal is designed for compensation of downlink and uplink phase noise compensation to enable compensation for uh, oscillator phase noise. This is uh, uh, more useful in the MM wave or high frequency. The last one is the sounding reference signal. This is used for uplink channel measurement, time frequency synchronization, and the beam management is designed for evaluation of uplink channel quality and the timing, and also it's transmitted in the uplink to perform channel state information measurement mainly for scheduling and link adaptation. Finally, if we need to recap the 5G physical channels, we have three main downlink and three main uplink channels. And compared to LTE, we don't have P control or physical control uh, feature channel as BDCCH size is determined by higher layer signaling and the no uh, physical hitch channel as acknowledged and the non acknowledged send asynchronously. So we have in downlink physical downlink control channel 
physical downlink short channel physical broadcast channel and the most important in the uplink is physical uplink shared channel physical uplink control channel physical random access channel for initial access this is for today thank you for watching and see you in next video